Baylor Equestrian won the Big 12 championship at the end of last month, but now their attention is on fighting for a national championship. And good news for us, it's right here in Waco. I know there's an educational component of it that, you know, people don't understand a lot of the sport, but that they come out here and they, you know, they sit near a student athlete. I mean, you've got hundreds of girls here would be happy to talk about their sport and educate anyone about what's going on. And so where better to do it than from teams all the way across the country. There are eight teams competing for a team national title and a total of 14 schools being represented by riders trying to win their individual events. The events start tomorrow and Thursday is team day. Baylor coach Casey Maxwell says the national championship isn't your typical horse show. The arena will be loud and full of cheering, providing fans the hype of college athletics. Baylor is the number three seed and will play number six Georgia in round one. Going into the first round, well, we beat them once, but um, we're not going to ride on that. And so definitely, definitely a hard first round opponent. Um, you know, we feel really confident that we have beat them before, but we know that, you know, anything's up for grabs at nationals. Our sophomore year, we were ranked number one and, you know, we came in with all this hype and um, and then we were done yeah. after the first yeah. day and the rest of the week we, we were helping other teams. And just that feeling, you know, just hanging out around here. We still had to run it and keep a smile on our face. And, I mean, it was hard. So um, we're definitely not forgetting about it, just keeping it in the back of your mind and, and just really, like, kind of have it light that fire behind us and make sure that we come out strong that first round so it doesn't happen to us again. Texas A&M is also in the running for the title as the number two seed, the Aggies, will open team competition against number seven, South Carolina, on Thursday. And the good thing about that is it's free to the public. It's inside, so no excuse not to go.